Did you know that the earliest coins were minted in the Kingdom of Lydia, now part of modern-day Turkey, around the 7th century BC? These first coins were made from electrum, a natural alloy of gold and silver, and marked the beginning of coined currency's use in trade and commerce. Since then, the art and science of coin making, or numismatics, have advanced significantly. Today, mints around the globe employ a combination of ancient techniques and cutting-edge technology to produce coins that are not only a medium of exchange, but also works of art and history encapsulated in metal. So how do they do it? The production of coins starts with sourcing and refining the essential raw materials – copper, nickel, zinc, silver, and gold. These metals are chosen for their durability, corrosion resistance, and the precision with which they can hold intricate designs. Copper and nickel, used extensively for lower denomination coins, are mined globally, with significant sources including Chile for copper and Russia and Canada for nickel. Precious metals like gold and silver, reserved for higher value commemorative and investment coins, come from mines in countries such as South Africa and the United States. After mining, these metals undergo a refining process to achieve the purity necessary for minting. This involves techniques like smelting for copper to remove impurities and electrolytic refining for silver and gold to attain the required fineness. Additionally, alloys are sometimes created to improve the coin's strength and wear resistance. A notable example is cupronicle, an alloy that combines copper's malleability with nickel's hardness, producing a material that withstands everyday use while maintaining detailed designs. This preparation phase ensures the materials meet stringent standards setting the foundation for high-quality coin production. In coin manufacturing, the initial processing of raw materials is crucial for shaping and preparing the metal for minting. This begins with the creation of coin blanks, a process that involves melting the refined metals and casting them into long strips or rods, depending on the metal's intended use. These strips are then cooled and rolled to precise thicknesses. The thickness of the strip is critical, as it must correspond to the specific dimensions of the coins being produced. Once the metal strips are at the correct thickness, they are passed through a blanking press. This machine punches out round discs, known as blanks, which will eventually become coins. The precision of this punching process is paramount to ensure that each blank is uniform, allowing for high-quality coins that are identical in size and shape. The leftover metal from this process, often referred to as webbing, is recycled back into the manufacturing process, minimizing waste. After being punched out, the blanks undergo a process known as annealing. This involves heating them in a furnace to soften the metal, which makes it easier to imprint designs in the subsequent stages. Following annealing, the blanks are cooled and then cleaned to remove any oils, dirt, or oxides that have formed on the surface, ensuring they are in pristine condition before they move to the striking phase. This meticulous initial processing is essential for crafting coins that meet the exact standards of weight, design, and durability. The final stage of coin production is where the design and inscriptions are imprinted onto the prepared blanks, transforming them into official currency. This stage is known as striking or coining and is performed using high-precision presses. Before striking, the dies, which are metal pieces engraved with the negative of the coin's design, are carefully created and polished. These dies are then installed in the coining press, a machine capable of exerting immense pressure to transfer the intricate designs onto both sides of the coin blanks simultaneously. The coining press functions by placing a blank between two dies. When activated, the press exerts pressure in the range of tons, impressing the die's designs onto the blank with precise detail. This process not only embeds the design, but also creates the raised edges, or rim, on the coins, which helps protect the coin's design from wear over time. The speed and efficiency of modern coining presses allow for the production of thousands of coins per hour, ensuring a consistent output of high-quality currency. After striking, the coins are subjected to an inspection process where they are checked for defects such as mistrikes or incomplete designs. Coins that pass inspection move on to a finishing process where they might be polished or treated to give them a specific finish. For example, proof coins, which are collector's items known for their mirror-like finish and exceptional detail, undergo an additional manual polishing of the dies and are struck multiple times to ensure the highest quality finish. An interesting aspect of the final stage is the incorporation of security features to prevent counterfeiting. Modern coins may include intricate micro-engraved details, holograms, or color-shifting inks. These features are not only functional, enhancing the security of the currency, but they also add to the aesthetic appeal of the coins. The final product is then counted, 
packaged and prepared for distribution to banks and financial institutions. This distribution process is carefully managed to ensure that new coins enter circulation in a controlled manner, replacing older coins and maintaining the currency's integrity. The entire production process, from raw material to finished coin, is a blend of art and science, showcasing the meticulous craftsmanship and advanced technology that goes into creating the coins that are a fundamental part of everyday transactions. Once coins have been minted, inspected, and deemed ready for circulation, they enter the final packaging stage. In this phase, coins are sorted by denomination and securely packaged to prevent damage during transportation. Automated machinery often handles the counting and packaging, placing coins into rolls, bags, or boxes, depending on their destination and intended use. Packaging materials are chosen for their durability and ability to protect the coins from environmental factors. This careful packaging ensures that the coins reach banks, financial institutions, and collectors in pristine condition, ready to be distributed into the economy or added to collections.